So congratulations on such a great film. You guys just ca came back from Cannes. What was that feeling like, getting to finally show off the film? It was great. You know, we've worked like really hard to get here. Me less so than, you know, Taron's been attached to this for years and Dexter and, you know, David Furnish have been working on it for years. So to finally get it out there and share it with people has been, has been uh, really exciting. So John, Elton John has had such a robust career. I mean, there's, there's different sections you could have taken from his life and you guys kind of chose to show uh, the, the, the formative years. Can mm -hmm. you talk a little about what we're seeing with this one? What we're seeing with, with, uh, within the film, yeah, we're getting to see how a man kind of changes and grows, I suppose, um, and how he faces things. He has so many, so many challenges that he faces, but his genius and his talent and his drive kind of pushes through it all. Can you talk a little about the relationship with John? Because I feel like that was probably the most toxic thing that could have happened to him after a childhood like that. Yeah. Um, and then the relationship with John is, is, is a fascinating one because it began in a place of real, true love. And they were together for five years before John Reed started working for Elton. So that's when it kind of becomes interesting is to see where they ended up after where they started. Now, everyone gets to show off kind of their vocal skills in this. What was that like for you? Terrifying. <laughs> Terrifying. It's not my strong point. Singing's not my strong point. It's not where I'm at my most comfortable. So, uh, so I... I was terrified of doing that, and luckily Dexter made it very easy for me to kind of go through it. No, yeah, Elton John's wife in the film, she talks about how uh, his music is very personal and stuff. Is there a song that you really relate to from his kind of catalog that you, can, you kind of feel that deep connection? I mean, I feel a deep connection with all the songs. I still, I still you know, I, I've seen him play, and, uh, you know, I still teared up at, at your song, and... I love Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. and So, you know, there's, there's lots of songs that, you know, I think everyone kind of relates to and empathises. That's why he's such a good storyteller within his music that you really get swept up in it. Well, we're seeing the kind of beginning of his career and how he kind of deals with fame. And it's something that maybe do you relate to? Because you started off your career fairly early on with a huge show. Mm -hmm. And then you, did you have to kind of deal with some stuff like that? Uh, I suppose there's elements of that. But I was also a kid actor, you see. So I was kind of on TV from, like, 11, 12 years old, so I was kind of dealing with things differently from then, so kind of with each little bit, you kind of, you just learn a little more. Now, there are a lot of rumours that you might become the next James Bond. How do you feel about this? Uh, it's, it's very flattering to be involved in that conversation, um, but, I mean, it's all just talk, really. I'm sure it'll be someone else next week. Now, what do you enjoy most about acting, getting to perform on the big screen? Mm, good question. Um... I think it's less about the, the performance bit, and I really enjoy the research bit of it. When you're, when you're playing a character, you have to really get to know this person's world. I know so much more about Elton and this world now from, from being immersed in it and from researching it, and that's, that's one of the things I love. You, kind of, you learn new skills after singing and dance, then how to do that better. So I think that's what I love the most about o o of doing things like this, is kind of learning new skills and learning more about someone. Now, are you going to be spending your night like the rest of us and watching the last episode of Game of Thrones? Sadly, I can't tonight, so I'm just terrified of all the spoilers that are going to come tomorrow. I'm going to have to keep my fingers in my ears, yeah, I think. No internet whatsoever. None. No. Don't talk to me.